this stage, decals are on, weathering is done, and two ships are on a base. So we're calling this the, the uh, Heartbreakers Generations build done. But we got a pair of Incom X-Wing fighters, the famous T-65 from the days of the Rebellion Against the Empire, and the T-70 from the Resistance fighting the First Order that rose up in the place of the Empire. All the markings are on now. Weathering was done with a combination of black washing, uh, some dry brushing with gun metal on the black parts, some dry brushing with Vallejo smoke. <clears throat> the markings on the undersides of the two ships, I freely admit, I made up as I went along. The base uses the base plates from the uh, T-65 X-Wing with the Death Star plate from one of the T-65s as well. The base was just given a black wash, mostly to dirty it up as much as the ships are. That light's a little bright. Yeah. Helps bring the detail out a little better, though. I really like how these ships turned out. I really like how the ships turn out look together. They're two very well engineered kits. <clears throat> as is evidenced by the fact we're, you know, three weeks into the contest and I've got my entry, my first entry done. I really like the detail, the cockpits. I was asked on the previous video why I did this and it's a combination of things. The original studio models for Star Wars didn't have any cockpit glass to avoid reflecting the lights. So I chose that option with these as well as the fact that with the canopies in place, you know, the, with the clear pizzas in place, it's a lot harder to see the detail in the cockpits. But at this stage, I'm starting to ramble. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some stills at the end of this. And then, um, thank you all for watching.